Hello everybody, welcome back to another interesting video. Obviously it's finally not a Sporkle quiz. Uh, I honestly got this idea from seeing people doing tier list videos, plus doing all the generation quizzes made me kind of want to do this. This here is a tier, rank, a tier list, and my personal tier list ranking of the Generation 1 Pokemon. I will be doing the other generations, 2 through 8, and then I will be doing... Um, all of the alternate forms, like Alolans and Galarian forms, and then Mega Evolutions and Gigantamax, I'll probably do as well, um, all separate. I decided to do alternate forms and Megas and all that separate because it just didn't feel right doing them in the normal generational tier list. I felt like they should be their own ranking. Now, it's split into six categories here. You got S, A, B, C, D, and F. S for amazing, A for still really good, B for still still pretty good. C for average, D for below average, and F for just absolute garbage. Uh, I don't like the E ranking in any of these things. I think E is a stupid. It's just stupid. It's If it's supposed to be a grading system, I guess S is irrelevant too, but S, you get it. You're, if you're from the United States, you get what I'm trying to say, I think, maybe. Now, this does go in order from 1 to 151. And again, this is my personal ranking. You can disagree. If you disagree, put it in the comments. That's okay. Now, I do want to say that I haven't used every single Pokemon ever, okay? So, if I have used it, my opinion will be based on having used it in the game. And I'm not like a competitive Pokemon player either. I'm a casual player. But I've played every game multiple times, so... Still haven't used every Pokemon. But like I said... If I've used it, my opinion on it will be based on my experience uh, and how I think the Pokemon looks. If I haven't really used it, it's going to be based on looks and what I do know about it. So, again, this is going to be all over the place judge, uh, um, judgment-wise, I guess. So, let's just start off here with number one. We got Bulbasaur. Now, Bulbasaur isn't my favorite starter at all, um, even in this generation. But it is Bulbasaur, and it's a dinosaur with a bulb on it. And I have to give it a B for that. I I, I, I just love that I actually really like the design of Bulbasaur. It's adorable. Um, yeah, it's just Bulbasaur. Okay. Um, moving on to Ivysaur. I honestly probably like this one a little bit less than Bulbasaur personally, even though it is stronger. But, like, design... Yeah, and design-wise, it's just not as good for me. Um, I, it's still decent. Like, it, there's stuff that's a lot worse. Um, I'm trying to decide if I would still put it in B or if it would be a high C. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it at a high C. Because it's still okay. Then we have Venusaur here. And Venusaur... It's just going to go right back to B, because I adore what Venusaur looks like, especially in a lot of the games, and I've used it quite a few times. Um, it's It took me forever to realize it was a frog, or it, it, well, not really a frog, but it walks around like a frog. I didn't even put two and two together there. Venusaur is hilarious. I, I love him. That little boy. Yeah. Great, great Pokemon, honestly. It's really not terrible. Now, Charmander. Now, see, this line is going to be where I might be a little bit controversial. <laughs> Charmander. I do like Charmander, but design-wise for the original starters, I don't like it as much as the other two. So I'm going to give it a C. I would probably put it above Ivysaur, though. I, I would probably put it above Ivysaur. I, it's charm. I, I'm sorry, guys. This is where it's gonna get weird. Now, Charmeleon. I again, I I just don't like Charmeleon's design at all. I honestly think it looks worse than Ivysaur. Um, it is what it is. I guess I am doing this more based on design and whatnot. Now, Charizard. Okay. I honestly think Charizard is one of the most overrated Pokemon. That being said, its design is fantastic. So, <sighs> I 
I'm going to put it in A because I think it's horribly overrated, and that's the only reason. Otherwise, it probably... <sighs> I mean, it's Charizard, and it's just like, it does look awesome. It's just everybody's favorite Pokemon most of the time. I guess most super casual people, and... <sighs> I may move it, but right now it's going to go in A. Right now it's going to go in A. Now, Squirtle, immediate B... I love Squirtle, too. It's probably lower than both of these, but I think Squirtle's hilarious. Now, Wartortle is honestly garbage. I'm going to put it in D. <laughs> Wartortle isn't that great, but I'm going to put it in D. Now, Blastoise, on the other hand, I love my canon turtle boy. I don't quite put him in S. I don't quite. Um, but it is definitely A, for sure. Now... Caterpie. Okay, this is where it's going to get interesting because all these bugged guys. You know, Caterpie isn't that it isn't that bad of a design. I'm going to give it a C. I'm going to give that a C. Um, Metapod, on the other hand, I get what they're trying to do with it, but I I still hate it. It that that's going to be our first F. <laughs> Butterfree, on the other hand, I'm going to give a solid B. It's a useless Pokemon, but its design is really good. I actually enjoy its design a lot. There are better... You know, actually, I probably will put it at a C. I'll put it above Caterpie, though. Yeah, because there are better Butterfly Pokemon in later gens. I will say that. Now, Weedle, Weedle I don't like as much as, as, as Caterpie. I'm going to put Weedle in D. However, I do like Hakuna more than Metapod, so I will... <laughs> They're both probably Ds, but Kakuna actually... I actually like Kakuna better than Weedle, design-wise. Now, Beedrill, on the other hand, I freaking love Beedrill, okay? Now... Do I like it more than Charmander or not? Is where I'm at here. You know what we're actually going to do? I'm going to put Beedrill in B and I'm actually going to move Charmander to B. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of adjustment there. but Because I, I do like Beedrill better than Charmander, but like not by much. And it's just... I don't know. But I love Beedrill. I just like B. The, it looks great, even though, again, it's kind of not great. But I still like it a lot. Now, Pidgey. Pidgey? Pidgey's nice. I, I Honestly, this whole line might go there. Um, actually, no. Pidgeotto, I, I have to... And maybe it's nostalgia from, from the, the show and stuff. But I really like... I, I, I have a lot of fond memories with Pidgeotto and stuff. And plus, it looks really cool. Pidgeot, on the other hand, I'm going to bring it back down to B. I still think Pidgeotto is the best looking one. But I love that line. I really do. Okay, now, into more interesting stuff. Rattata, Rattata is a Pokemon. It's okay. I'll give it a C. Um, not much to say about that. I, I have a soft spot for Raticate, to be honest. So I'm going to put it in B. Uh, I'm not really ranking these anymore now that I think about it, but that's okay. I, I'm going to put Raticate in B as well. I I have a really dumb memory from what, I think it's Leaf Green. I, one, of, one of my playthroughs of that, I taught it Thunder, and it helped me beat the Elite Four, even though its special attack is terrible. But I just have that, plus I just have good memories with um, that Pokemon. Now, Spiro. Okay. Spiro, I'm going to put it C as well. It's okay. I, I really haven't used this line. I've used it a handful of times. Uh, I think my most recent um, Leaf Green, or uh, yeah, it was Leaf Green I played, uh, playthrough, I did use Firo as opposed to Pidgeot. Um, again, I still don't think it's that good. Firo as well. I think they're both going to go in C. I, they look okay. It's just not really on the level of Pidgey, the Pidgey line. And I can't justify putting it there. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Ekans and Arbok. Ekans, I'm... Ekans is a snake. It's just a snake. I'm going to put it at average. Um, 
it's okay. Now, Arbok, on the other hand, I hate its moveset, but its design is great. <laughs> like, I, I think I have to give it an A just for that. And I'm still debating about moving Charizard up, because... Yeah, okay, fine. For all you Charizard lovers, Charizard's in S tier now. I Whatever. It is. Bla I still prefer Blastoise as a Pokemon, though. To be honest. So you know what? We'll just put Blastoise in S tier too. Screw it. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. The mascots. <laughs> I am going to put Pikachu in A tier. <sighs> no. We'll put it in S tier. Because it's Pikachu. I, I by law, I have to. <laughs> I, I, it's just, it's the mascot. It has to go S tier. It just has to. Raichu on the other hand, I, I really like Raichu as well. But as a design, it's not quite as good as Pikachu. So I will put it at A because I do love Raichu a lot. I love that electric tail. I, I, I do like it a lot. Now, Sandshrew. Sandshrew's gonna go B. I actually really like this line a lot. Um... Even though it took a while for, again, its moveset to get any good moves at all. Sandslash is going to A. I have a lot of fond memories with Sandslash, honestly. I really do enjoy Sandslash a lot. I just love its design. The Nidoran line. This will be fun. Okay, Nidoran female. I'm going to give a... I'm going to give it a C, actually. Now, I'm actually going to skip ahead a little bit, and we'll jump to Nidoran Male. Nidoran Male gets a B. I definitely prefer the male line over the female line. Um, I Definitely. Now, I'm going to actually give Nidorina a D, because I don't like the design too much. But Nidorino, on the other hand, I do like just as much as Nidoran, so it will also get a B. <clears throat> Excuse me, a B. Now, this is where it gets really fun. Nitto Queen, I will give a B because it isn't terrible, okay? It really isn't. Nitto King, on the other hand, is getting an... <sighs> it's getting a really high A. I love Nitto King, but I can't justify giving it an S. I, I don't think I can. Uh, especially with some of the mods that are coming up here. I, I don't think I can. Um, Alright, Clefairy. Clefairy gets a B. Uh, it's adorable. It, that alone gets it a B. Clefable is a little bit of a step down. I'll give it a C. It's a thick boy or a girl, whatever you want to call it. All right, Volpix and Nine Tails. Okay, now I have, I don't think I've ever actually used either of these mons. So going off of just design, B for Volpix, and I'm going to give Nine Tails, a, not an S, excuse me, an A for Nine Tails. But, like, it's a pretty high A, just for design alone. Honestly. It's amazing. Now we got Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Now, this might be a little bit of a contro con another controversial opinion. I think Wigglytuff is slightly better than Jigglypuff, in my opinion. But I still think they're both Cs. Because they're not that great. They're both okay. I do prefer Wigglytuff to Jigglypuff. I like the little curl of hair there. Um... Yeah, that's that's it. Now, <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go... Okay, I kind of... Zubat has its charm. And you know what? Honestly, so does Golbat, but I do think I still prefer Zubat to Golbat. I'm going to put them at C because they, they aren't terrible, like, design-wise. There's going to be a lot of Cs, I just realized. Okay, Oddish, C. It's like... It's a plant. Gloom, also a C. <laughs> And Vileplume. The whole line can just be a C. I don't really care for this line. It's okay. Um, we'll talk a little bit about, more about that in Gen 2, because I think I actually prefer that evolution personally a little bit better. Paris and Parasect. Okay, you know what? Paris gets a D. I think it's stupid. But Parasect is okay. Uh, no, I'm going to give it a C. I can't give it a B. Um... I just think Paris looks kind of stupid, but not this stupid. It's not, like, absolute trash stupid. Okay? And Parasect is an interesting idea. It's the mushroom basically took control of the Pokemon. Even its eyes are completely blank. You know, it's, it's kind of cool. It has its its charm. All right. Venonat and Venomoth. I'm going to give Venonat a C. 
And Venomoth, I think I might actually give a B, because I think I do prefer Venomoth over Butterfree. Honestly. Um, I just like the design of Venomoth. Venonat's okay, again. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Diglett and Dugtrio, I've used quite a bit, but they're honestly just, like, it's just... The, they're the same thing. I, I can't... I can't... I can't, I can't put any one higher, one higher than the other. I think the design is interesting. Doug Trio is kind of lazy, but it is what it is. All right, Meowth and Persian. You know, I have a really soft spot for Meowth um, and Persian. I think I love cats, so they're both going to get B. I don't know why, but they're both going to get B, honestly. I, I think they're adorable. I mean, I have two of them. One of them sitting on me right now. I have to, I just love cat Pokemon, okay? Now, Psyduck. Okay, I, I actually really like Psyduck's design a lot. Um, it's evolution, not as much. I'm going to give Psyduck... I'm actually going to give Golduck a... Am I really going to give Psyduck... Or, ugh, I'm doing it again. Am I really going to give Golduck a C? Yeah, I think so. It's like up here, though, probably. <laughs> More near the top. But still really, really... It's okay. Mankey and Primeape, another one I've used oh, quite a bit. I'm going to... I'm going to give Mankey a C. Primeape is just a bigger, more angry version. I think i got to give it a C as well. Wow. I'm surprised how little Fs I have, to be honest. But, like, it's just the same. They're basically the same thing again. I, Not much I can say. Now we go on to something. Okay, Growlithe. I adore this design, both of these. Growlithe gets an A. I'm giving Arcanine an S. I adore Arcanine, the design of Arcanine so much honestly i might actually prefer it personally to charizard as a fire type that's just my opinion though uh it's so good and Growlithe is adorable too like look at him now poly the poly line we got poly whirl poly or excuse me poly wag poly wag i like it but it, it is just a top uh it is just a, a tadpole. Sorry. Um, Poliwhirl, I'm going to put a little bit below um, Poliwag. But Poliwrath, I actually like. I'm going to put it in B. Uh, I don't think it's an A. But it's definitely really fun. I actually really like Poliwrath's design. I don't know why either. It, it, I just like it's just a thick boy with big old fists. Alrighty, moving on to another line that I like a lot, the Abra line. Abra, I'm Abra. I'm going to give a C, though. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. Kadabra, I'm actually going to give a... Mm, do I really justify... I really like Kadabra's design. Alakazam, like... I'm going to give Alakazam an S as well. I. It's really hard for me to decide between Kadabra and Alakazam, but Alakazam is so good. Like... I have to give Aver er, Alakazam an S tier. Kadabra's great too. Although design-wise, I probably like Kadabra just a little bit better, personally. But they're, I mean, even in Gen 1, they were so overpowered. Like, we'll be getting to more of that here in a little bit. But, you know, there's a, yeah, I just love Alakazam. All right, Machop line. I actually really like Machop as a design, so he'll get a B. Um, I do think Machoke is a little bit of a step down, but not by much, so he'll get a high C. And then Machamp, I love this forearm bastard. He gets an A. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I, I just really like the forearm. I like forearm designed anything. I think they're great. I don't know. We'll see. Or we'll see. What? All right, the Bellsprout line. Uh... uh Bellsprout's going to get a C. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this line, although Weeping Bell's kind of funny, okay? Um, Victory Bell, on the other hand, I'm going to drop back down to a C. But it is pro yeah, I, I think I do. Weeping Bell looks funny, though. I actually don't mind Weeping Bell. I uh, don't have a lot of experience with that line. Uh, the Tentacool line, another one I don't have a lot of experience with. <sighs> However, I will give Tentacool a C, and I think I'd actually give Tentacruel a B as well. I really like Tentacruel's design. It's just... 
its move pool kind of sucks, so I've never really used it. However, Tentacool was actually the first shiny I ever encountered normally in a game. It was in Heart Gold. Uh, I don't know where the Pokemon went, because <laughs> I can't find it anywhere, but fun fact. All right, okay, here's a line, uh, uh, evolutionary line that I do actually have a really soft spot for, Geodude. Now, I Geodude gets a B, okay? A rock with arms, I think, is hilarious, okay? Don't judge me too much. Graveler, it is a step down a little bit, in my opinion, but I'm still going to give it a decently high C. Um, I think I, I do also have a soft spot for Graveler um, because the first time I ever played through Generation 2, uh, Graveler is what helped me beat Jasmine. Uh, I remember exactly where I was because a family member was in the hospital. <laughs> we don't need to go into that. But, and then finally getting it to evolve into a golem was awesome. I actually really like golem. I don't think it's a, an A, an S, but I will give it a high A. I'm probably going to put it up here with, with these guys, honestly, for design-wise. I really like golem a lot, actually. Um, personal opinion. Now, Ponyta and Rapidash. Okay, I haven't really used either of them, but Ponyta's design is fantastic. It gets an A. Rapidash is a step down, but it still gets a B. Um, but Ponyta's, ah, oh man, I'm actually tempted on design alone to give Ponyta an S, honestly, but I can't because I haven't really used it. Um, I will give it a high A, though. Its design is, it's probably honestly one of the better design Pokemon, honestly, from this gen at least. All right, Slowpoke. I actually kind of like Slowpoke, don't, don't hurt me for that, but I'm still going to give Slowpoke a C. Slow bro, I like the design a lot better. It'll get a B. Um, I yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to say. Um, I think slow but this derpy face is adorable for both of them. I do probably prefer the other evolution a little bit more though, personally. All right, Magnemite and Magneton. I'm going to give them both a C, just like Diglett and Dugtrio, because they're basically the same thing. The design is interesting, but I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't know. Farfetched. Oh, I got to give it a B because it's freaking farfetched. That design is great. He's not a good Pokemon, but that design is funny. Now, Dodrio and Do, uh, Doduo and Dodrio, I gotta give Doduo a C. Dodrio gets like a really high C, but it's not B territory. I don't really like that design that much, but Dodrio having three heads is kind of cool. Now, Dugong and Seal. Seal is, I'm just, they're both Cs, okay? They're both like high Cs. I don't really care for either of these. I would put, nah. They're about the same. Um, I probably would put them below these, though. <laughs> um, I like how I'm, like, not organizing, but I organize it a little bit. I, uh, they're okay, honestly. Muck and Grimer. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. I, I actually like their design. I'm just being sludge. Grimer's going to get a B. I'm going to give Muck a B as well, but it's going to be, like, up here with these guys. It's going to be, like, a high B, almost A. I actually kind of like Muck, okay? <laughs> don't, I don't know. I like the sludge idea. I think it's hilarious. Like, I think it's better than some uh, some poison types coming here in a little bit. Now, Shelter and Cloister. Design-wise, I'm going to give Shelter a B and Cloister a high B as well, just like Muck and Grimer. I really like the design. I just haven't used them. So, I, I actually would probably put Cloyster more up here, probably. But, I actually kind of like them. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's a fun line. This, this line, all, all, just... Ghastly, I love the design. I, I love this line, honestly. And then Gengar. I, I think I'm going to put Gengar in S, guys. <laughs> I almost want to put this whole line in S, because they're just, they're honestly, like, probably the best total line in this in gen one in my opinion they're not even my i only i don't even know if they're my favorite mon from this generation but this design everything about it like they go at least at the top of a i'm tempted to give them all s you know what we're gonna do it guys 
We're going to do it. We're giving the entire Ghastly line S. Actually, no. I'm going to give Hauntor an S. Ghastly is going to be in high A, just because it's a ball. Okay? There we go. I love Haunter. Nah, okay, yeah. Now I don't Now I don't feel right putting it S. I feel like this should just be reserved for... Yeah, because then I, I'd have to move a lot of these mons into S. Just for having the whole line. I'm putting Gengar in S. Ghost type is OP as well. Honestly, I love the designs of these two, but I can't really justify putting them in S. I mean, I could, but... I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about doing that. <laughs> All right. Onyx. Onyx is okay. I'm going to put it in B. Um, I'm actually going to put it pretty high in B. I, I actually kind of like Onyx. I've never, again, haven't really used Onyx, but that design, a giant rock snake, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> All right. Drowsy and Hypno. Okay. Drowsy, I do like the design. It'll get a B. I don't really like Hypno. I might actually put Hypno. Ah, uh, I don't think, yeah, I'm actually, get, guys, I'm going to put it in high D. I do not like Hypno. I like Drowsy, though. Drowsy is designed on a taper, and that's great. Hypno looks freaking terrible. I'm sorry. It's not this bad, though. I'll put it in D. Oh, Krabby and Kingler. I really like this line, design-wise. I've only used them once, but I'm putting Krabby in B, and I'm putting Kingler in A. Fight me. I don't care. I love Kingler's design. I love that design. Krabby's still pretty fun, but Ken Kingler's design is so good. It's so good. All right, now we got the Pokeballs. I really don't know what I want to say. I actually like Voltorb's design. I like that it's basically a Pokeball. Just pissed off and angry. Electrode, on the other hand, I'm going to put it at a high C. I think it is a step down. But... It's interesting. It's an interesting idea. Okay. Execute and Executor. It's eggs. I I don't know what else to say. That's getting a C. Okay. Um, Executor, on the other hand... I'm actually... Because it's a palm tree, I think I'm going to put it in B. I haven't really used it, but like the design is interesting. I don't know why it evolves from eggs... But it is what it is. Oh, here we go. Cubone. Cubone is... You know what? Again, one of the really, really good designed mons from this gen. Next to Ponyta. I almost want to give it an S. But what we're going to do here is it's probably going to go towards the top of A. That design is so good, but I can't put it in S. I might actually... You know what? We're going to move Pikachu out of S as well. Sorry, guys. It's going to go back down to A. Um, yeah, I love Cubone. I love the design. Marowak, on the other hand, isn't as good. Um, I might honestly put it in C, guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it in high C. I just don't like it nearly as much as Cubone. Like, look at this design compared to this. It's just night and day to me. Oh, here we go. Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. I actually really like both of these mons. Um, I will put Hitmonlee in a high B. Probably that right there. And I really like the design of Hitmonchan. Okay? I'm putting it in an A. Um, I can't justify going any higher than that. But I love the design of Hitmonchan. A lot of people like Hitmonlee better. I like Hitmonchan. I love those punching gloves. I love it. Lickitung. <sighs> Lickitung gets a B on principle alone. On, on design alone. Um, I, it's, it's just a thing with a huge tongue. Um, it's, I, I'm putting it in B. Now, coughing and wheezing. Looking at it again, I might actually put coughing at... No, I'm going to put coughing at like a high C. And I think wheezing isn't as good, but it's still a C. I'll probably put put it a lot lower because it's just it's essentially the same thing again. Now, mind you, I guess you could say that about Muck and Grimer, but I feel like there's enough difference. For me, at least. Uh, Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Okay, you know what? Rhyhorn is actually really cool design-wise. I love that it's a rock... Um, 
rhinoceros, sorry. I'm going to give it a high B, okay? I don't like Rhydon as much. I'm going to give it a high C, though. I still think it's okay. Um, yeah, it's like, I, I've only used that line once, and it was actually in a later gen with the evolution that we'll see when we get there. But uh, it's pretty fun. And, and look, I mean, it's a rock rhinoceros. It just looks, honestly, Rhyhorn does look really cool. <laughs> it really does. All right, Chansey. Chansey alone gets a B. I don't care. Chansey's design is great. Plus, it's the Pokemon Center Pokemon. Okay? I don't care. Tangela, it's a bunch of tentacles. C. Kangaskhan, I really like the design of Kangaskhan. I'm going to give it an A. I've never used it, though. But I love the design. Okay? With the pouch and the little baby in the pouch. I love that design. Okay. Horsey and Seedra. I'm going to give like Horsey would be in the high C, mid to high C area. I'm put about here. Seedra, I'm going to put like low B. I, I think its design is, is pretty cool. And it, I, I do think I, I might prefer its evolution a little bit better. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Alrighty. Goldeen. Goldeen's design is actually really nice. I might actually give Goldeen a... I'm going to give it a high C, guys. I, I don't think I can justify giving it a, a B. I don't think I like it quite as much as a lot of these. I do not really like C King, though. I'm going to put it in D. Waste of a line, in my opinion. Um, I just don't really like this line too much. I think design-wise, Goldeen does look nice, though. Sea King is stupid. I know it's designed after a koi fish, but Goldeen is so much better. Staryu and Starmie. Okay, I'm actually going to give Staryu, for its easy simplicity, I'm going to give it a B, guys. I'm going to give it a high B, actually. I actually kind of like Staryu. Not a lot, a lot, but, you know. And then Starmie. Starmie's still a B, but I still think I prefer um, Staryu. I'm still going to give it a B because I actually think the simplicity of the designs of these is what makes it so good. Just like Voltorb. Okay? And even Onyx and Muck and Grimer. Okay? Mr. Mime. Oh. Wow. I'm going to give it a high C, guys. I. It's okay. Like, I can't justify putting it any higher than that. I. I... It's, it's okay. Now, Scyther, on the other hand, this is one that gets a high A. This is, uh, I almost, you know what, guys? I really like Scyther. Scyther gets an S, okay? Design-wise, oh my god, dude. Like, honestly, most of these, anything Pony to Up could probably go into S is interchangeable. Yeah, actually, you know what we're going to do? Oh, so many of these could go in S, in my opinion. Like, Honestly, anything like here over from uh, Cubone over could go in S tier. Honestly. Um, but I'm not going to give it an... I, I, I don't want to put any of these guys in S. But I have to put Scyther in S because that design is just so good. Oh my god. I have to. Alright, Jinx. Jinx is a C. I freaking hate the design of that. It looks so ugly and so terrible. Um... But it's not this bad. <laughs> Actually, you know what? High D. Screw it. I don't think it's an F, but it's. I really don't like it. Electabuzz, on the other hand. Ooh, I actually really like the design of Electabuzz. I'm going to give it an A, guys. I really like Electabuzz. It actually probably would go up there, honestly. I really like Electabuzz design a lot. Um, Magmar, on the other hand. Magmar, I'm going to give a high B. Uh, I think it's kind of stupid, but it has its charm. Uh, it has a butt, butt forehead, or butt forehead duck face. I, I don't know. Pincer, Pincer, I think has its charm. I'm also gonna put it probably about mid B. I, Pincer doesn't bother me to be honest. I kind of like Pincer. Um, yeah. Uh, Tauros, Tauros. I'm gonna put Tauros in like a high C. I haven't really used it that much, and it's a bull, and that's pretty cool, but. I don't know. It, it, Not quite my thing. All right. Oh, this is going to be a fun set. This next little run. Magikarp, you know what? It's a fish. 
I'm going to give it a... I'm going to put it in C. But, like, I actually kind of like the design, guys. Now, Gyarados on the other hand, Gyar Gyarados is an S. I don't care what anybody says. Gyarados is an S tier. It is one of the best Pokemon, if not the best Pokemon from this generation still, okay? I have to give it an S just for that. I love... I actually really... Every time I can use a Gyarados, I use a Gyarados. That's how good I think that Pokemon is. Now, Lapras... Oh, man, I think design alone, I might have to go S again. Lapras is amazing. Like, I, I think I gotta go S again, guys. Uh, Lapras is adorable. And again, a lot of these are interchangeable in S. Like, I almost want to put Cubone in S and, like, Ponyta in S. You know what? No, not for design alone, but I just, I love Lapras. Lapras is so cool. I really like him. All right, Ditto. Ditto, I have a soft spot for. It's going to go high B. Uh, even though it's just a blob, I have a soft spot for it because I've done a bunch of breeding. At, and I actually got one up to level 100 in, uh, I think, Crystal version because it was in the daycare for so long for breeding. I have a soft spot for this little blob of crap. So he'll get a B. Eevee. Eevee, design-wise, alone gets an A, okay? It's adorable. And that little neck scarf, it's just so adorable. Uh, it's Eevee. Okay, I actually probably prefer it to Pikachu. Okay. Vaporeon. Okay, this is going to be interesting here. I'm going to give Vaporeon an A for design alone as well. As a Pokemon, I'm not the biggest fan. It isn't my favorite evolution. That'll be coming later. Not this gen. But it's still very good. Jolteon, I'm actually, you know what? They're all just going to go in A. Just for design alone. Uh, Flareon is garbage until Gen 4, but its design is pretty good. I love Jolteon. Honestly, I probably like Jolteon design-wise the best of these three. Um, they all... Uh, that whole line just deserves an A. That is how you make a line of Pokemon, okay? <laughs> like, I... I stand by that. Porygon. I'm gonna give Porygon, a, like, a high C, because it's okay. I think I do prefer its evolutions a little bit better. Um, but it's okay. Now, Ammonite, yeah, Ammonite, Praise Helix, it gets a B. Omastar, I feel like it's a step down as a design, so it'll go high C there. But I, I, Omastar is actually kind of adorable. Kabuto and Kabutops. You know what, Kabuto, I don't really like that much as a design, so I'll give it a C. But design-wise, Kabutops, for me, gets an A, a low A. I love the design of Kabutops. It's another Scythe-type Pokemon, but not quite as good as Scyther. I've never used Kabutops, and I always want to, but by the time you get it in any game, you'd have to, like, spend hours and hours and hours to level it up because you get it at level 5. It's... I've never used it. So, but design-wise, I really like Kabutops. All right, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl will get a low B. I am not the biggest fan of Aerodactyl, but it's strong and fast and it isn't terrible and it's a dinosaur basically or pterodactyl so i and i have a soft spot for those so i have to at least give it a b snorlax you know what i i like snorlax a lot he gets an a okay that big thick boy i love him okay i love him now the birds okay articuno i'm gonna give a really high A tier, borderline S. I really like Articuno a lot. You know what? No. I, 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 however, my favorite legendary bird is Zapdos, but I can't justify giving it S tier either. So I'll put it slightly above in A tier. I just love the design of Zapdos. Moltres is the weakest design-wise. I'm actually going to give it a high B, guys. I don't really like the design that much, but it's a good Pokemon. Then we got the Dratini line. Almost done here. We are almost done here. Wow, it's been almost 40 minutes. Holy cow. Okay, this is going to be a long video. Alrighty. Um, Dratini? I actually think Dratini's adorable. B tier? Uh, Dragonair? You know what? Still B tier. Honestly, might be better. Uh, I'm going to get... Actually, guys, no. I can't justify giving it A tier. And then everybody shits on Dragonite, but, like, I like Dragonite. I don't think it's quite as good as Dragonair, but I still think Dragonite's kind of adorable. 
It doesn't really fit with the line. That's fair, but I still think it's adorable. All right, two wands left. Mewtwo and Mew. Am I really going to do this with both of them? I got to think about this one. I'm going to tell you right now, Mew for me is adorable. I have to put it S tier. Mew is adorable. Mew gets S tier. Fight me. Mewtwo, Mewtwo, no matter what, is going to get A tier. I just can't decide if I want it to be S tier or not. I'm going to put it like... I'm going to put it really high A tier. I don't think I like it quite as much as these. But... It's still really cool. And that's it. Only one F tier, guys. <laughs> uh, a lot of C tier and almost as much B tier. Uh, and then only, what, nine a S tier. Okay, I'm actually surprised at how many S tiers I have. Um, yeah. That's, that's it. This is my ranking. Um, in no particular order in these. In the rankings themselves. I... I could organize it a little bit better, but that would take way too long. But that's it. This is my ranking. Leave in the comments if you disagree with me. I would like to hear what you guys have to say, honestly. Uh, if you think I'm wrong or if you think I'm right, let me know. But I will be back with Generation 2. All right. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.